everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP 14-FQ0028 and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and replace or remove your internal battery for this laptop. This applies for any HP 14-FQ series model. So it doesn't have to be exactly the 0028, it can be any HP 14FQ and I'll try to get the link for the new batteries if you guys want to purchase yours I'll leave it in the video description in case you need and the tools that I'll be using for this video by removing the battery you're not gonna modify anything on the system or anything like that but just keep in mind once you remove the battery one and put the new one in or just remove and replace it you will get a once you power on it takes five to ten seconds for initial power on and you get a message saying that the CMOS is reset to default values which is okay just press enter it will reset restart and it will enter to the windows with no problem and the reason for that is because once you remove the internal batteries there is no BIOS battery on the motherboard the BIOS takes the charge from the internal battery so it's not a big deal and so it's not a big modification or anything like that so don't panic all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down and you want to grab yourself an opening tool. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You want to grab a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers, some other few other stuff. But if not, just get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So grab one of these. All right, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to realize that there's only four screws, two on the front end and one on each corner at the side, on the side. And there's a few hidden screws and we're going to expose them. They're under the bottom rubber cover at the back and on the front. To remove this rubber cover, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool, put it at the corner all the way, jiggle it right underneath the rubber and scoop it out and bring it upward. You want to bring it up in 45 degree angle. You don't want to yank it over. If you do an overpass, you want to crack the rubber and you're going to break the rubber in two pieces. So bring it up in like this in 45 and the rubber will come out fine. I'm going to cross place it right in here so the camera can auto focus. Do the same thing on the front end rubber. This one is a little more fragile, so be more gentle. All right, once you have these two exposed, now you're going to see the screw right down in here. One screw right there and this black head screws right there. There are three types of screws. The short ones which are at the front end of the laptop. This one and this one right in here. So keep them in one pile. And then they have a medium chrome screws which are the rest of the chrome screws. These are the same size and height so keep them in a different pile. Also if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now we're going to remove the black head screws. There are two of them. So pretty much I have the black head screws, the long chrome ones, and the short chrome screws. With all this unfinished, now we're going to open up the laptop in 45 or 60 degree. Just like that. And we're going to stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to keep focusing right there. And then all you need to do is twist it backward and you want to hear a big click. Those are the clicks that are getting loose. You want to do this for every one or two centimeters all around. Into the front and to the side left and side right. Don't worry, you're not breaking anything. It's just fine. So I'm going to go like this so you guys can see. Go to the, all the way to the back corner. By the power jack like that. And you want to do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the front corner. To the back corner. Once we have this front and the sides open up, we're going to close it down. We're going to put it down, we're going to grab it from the front end up a little bit. I'm going to put my thumb at the back hinge right here. I'm going to grab it from here. I'm going to pull it up and wiggle it around. And it will release the back clips right there. And wiggle it around and it will release the bottom cover. All right. 
and then right away you can see your uh, battery right in front of you the model for this battery it is actually covered I believe it says regulatory part number is this one right in here but HP part number is being covered by this slit tape so I'm going to remove this so I can expose a little more so there we have it the HP part number is an L96887-AC1 okay so you can I'll try to get the link for this uh, battery is an 11.34 volt 41.04 watt hour battery or you can find the battery by this model this is a general model which is an HW03XL all right now to remove the battery you need to remove four screws there's uh, two screws right by the connector so go ahead and remove these two screws one on each side of the connector and two one screw at the back corner of the battery so the screws are the same size and high once you remove these four screws all you need to do is to scoop it from the side front here bring it upward and remove so there's your battery this is brand new laptop so let's say if you want to put the battery back on or you can use the laptop without the battery that's perfectly fine and the charger will last you longer the only side effect is that whenever you turn on it might take to uh, up to 15 seconds to boot up because it's not going to detect the battery and it's going to give you that there's no battery and that's the only side effect but you can use it without the battery anyway to put the battery back on first make sure you put there's a tiny uh, plastic in here has to go through the second loop so place that one in there and then place the other side in and then bring it down and then push it towards the jack now all you need to do is to put the four screws back in its place two beside the jack and one at the back end of the uh, battery also in the proper way of using the battery for the initial charge is really really important i'm gonna go over that with you guys so let's say that you got the new battery in you don't want to power on right away you want to leave it in off mode and you want to connect the charger and leave it sit there for at least five to six hours and after the five to six hours then you want to remove the charger and power it on and drain the battery very very slowly put a little bit of youtube videos a movie or something don't put anything heavy so let it drain down whatever time it takes up to so it can go up to 10 or 15 percent charge once it's down to charge you want to power off then you want to connect the charger let it charge for another five to six hours in an off mode and after that you can use it as you wish all right once you have the battery in there you want to grab the bottom cover you want to scoop down the io site right in here you want to scoop it right underneath the jacks and then you want to move it wiggle around a little bit so you can get the scoop there and then you want to push it down you want to hear that click then bring it over and then push down the other side the front and then you want to open it up if you see these tiny openings right here you just want to pinch them together and it will go to its place on the check all around and then you want to bring it down and put the screw on its place remember the black ones goes right there the mediums goes right all over the place and too short on the front end Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.